Hey everyone, The Motivational Professor here, and welcome back to our crude oil analysis as we get ready for the market open on Sunday. Now, I want you to kind of take a look at what oil has done on the daily time frame over the past several weeks, right? We can clearly see here, you know, on this chart, and again, if you're brand new, right, we can clearly see here that we've been dropping when it comes to crude oil. Now, there's been a lot of stuff on the news have been popping out with regards to reserves, the US, the OPEC meeting last week. And so oil and gas will continue to dominate the headlines. But in this analysis, we're gonna look at the technical analysis side of it. And we are going to start with this daily time frame. So as we kind of move over to the left, a couple of things that you should kind of look at, which I think are very, very important. And then number one is, and I don't want to grab that. Let's grab a, let's grab a circle. Okay. And we can kind of see here that we had price kind of come here, right? And we wicked there. Uh, and then we have these wicks to the top side. And then we've got these wicks to the bottom side. Okay. And then, so we can kind of look that what we see there is, this is what I see. I see that we can obviously create that we have some type of support and resistance happening right there on the daily time frame okay so we ended up with price dropping two of the last three days on crude oil and again we are looking at the daily time frame keep in mind i'm going to be dropping down so watch the entire video so i can give you some possible entries that we'll be looking for when it comes to crude oil now let us not forget because I am not ignoring the fact that, you know, with everything going on, we did have this huge spike up here that happened back on May 4th, that if price closes below the zone, we will go back down and possibly re-hit or retarget that $64 a barrel area again. That being said, uh, let's kind of take a look at what we've seen here on the day time frame. Let's grab our handy dandy Fibonacci retracement and let's kind of go from this low here and we're going to swing it up to this high, which was right off this trend line. And we can see here that on Thursday, price rejected the 78.6. Okay. And then we came back up and we kind of sitting at that 61.8 now. So by all intents and purposes on the technical side, we may see price come back down again in this area, but then from there, you know, we should see price rebound uh, if the technicals hold up with crude oil. Now that's what it looks on the daily. I want to drop down to the eight hour time frame because if I can train your eyes to kind of see what I see, then you will have much greater success with crude oil. So again, here was our rejection of the 78.6. And this is where price is right now. This is going to be a key zone because if we do close below this 69.70, meaning we close, right? A, a candle closing below 69.70, then we are going to see numbers lower than 69 and possibly dip back down into the 68s to retest this area one more time. So we do have to kind of pay attention to what's going on. So, Let's drop down one more time frame to the four hour so we can kind of see what happened. And let's kind of like take a look at what the candlesticks are telling us now on the four hour. Now here on the four hour, we can see that price close in this nice doji candle right there. Of course, this is not all the time, but doji candles tend to be known as a reversal candle. Will we see that reversal? That's still we need to see when the market opens. And we also have to take into account uh, that there probably will be a gap with crude oil, maybe small, maybe large, like last week, a full dollar and a half or so, $2. So we will wait and see if there's any major news between today, which is Saturday, recording this video and market open tomorrow on Sunday. But again, if we look over to the left, we can clearly see that we've had you know rejection here and we've had rejection here so it seems like right now supply and demand it's telling us that the buyers don't want to let 
price go anywhere below this 69.86 to 70 area. So we should be looking uh, for price to rebound back up. So I'm going to drop down one more time frame and then I'm going to look for some, you know, entry opportunities. So again, here on the one hour, I'm going to kind of make this larger for those folks that are watching. Okay, we're going to focus in on this. Uh, we can kind of, again, take a look at what's going on here. And again, these FIB levels work as nice areas of support and resistance as well, as we can clearly see here, you know, on the chart. So where we are right now, we have to kind of wait to see where price is going to gap. But in this area, okay, if price does come back down towards the bottom of this zone, and I'm going to make this red, okay, then me personally, you know, I'd be looking for something like this on crude oil. Let's take a long position. Let's set the stop loss below these wicks. And then let's set the profit levels back up three zones to the top. Okay. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. If we can show that candles uh, begin to, you know, work in our favor. I'm sorry. I got to fix this one right here. Let's click here. Let's click this. I got to move this back up because the entry would actually be up here and the stop loss would be below this wick right here. So that's kind of what we would be looking at in a long position. If price comes down to this 69, 64-ish area uh, on trading view, okay? Because at the same time, we'd be taking out most of the liquidity on this candle and then we can begin to head upwards uh, on crude oil. Now, that being said, if we do have a candle that closes. So basically what you could do, and let me do this again. If price comes below, this is going to be a buy stop order. Okay. So if for whatever reason, uh, this candle, let me grab this candle, comes down here with price making a sudden movement down, then what we want to do is we want to catch price on the way up and then catch it back up all the way down here, okay? That's if price comes down to this point below this 69, 62 area, okay? If we get candles to close down here, then I'm gonna be waiting on a buy stop order here. I'm not gonna be quick to sell crude oil at this point, why? Because if I go over here to my left, I can clearly see that based on the FIB levels, right, this zone right here, uh, this Fibonacci level is, a, is an area of support. So I don't want to sell here for them price to bounce up. So for me, uh, again, my play is if oil drops into the 60s, I'm just having buy stop orders to catch it on the way back up. I believe oil wants to settle in somewhere around 73 to $75 a barrel, uh, if not higher, uh, as we turn the corner on the second half of 2023. OK, and again, that will be kind of like the same scenario in this particular case. If oil comes all the way down to this next level, OK, then we have a brand new buy stop order. That buy stop order would then drop to our next level and we would begin to buy here. So depending on what the candles do, depending on where our original buy stop order is going to start. OK, and of course, the last scenario is if price does come all the way down here. OK, then our buy stop order just comes down and we begin to buy, stop, get out of profit, buy, stop, get out of profit, buy, stop, get out of profit. So that way we take small movements in the market throughout the way. So those are the three major scenarios that we are looking at that I am looking at for crude oil. If we drop below this 6907 area, I don't want to sell because of the areas of support that are right below it. I would rather just be patient and wait and grab crude oil back on the way down. Hey, okay, I hope you got some value on this video. If you did, smash the like button for me. Uh, that's something that you can do to help me out as well. If you're brand new, check out my other videos. You'll see two other videos for you to watch shortly pop up here on your screen. Subscribe, check me out. Uh, you can always unsubscribe later if you feel you are not getting any value. I've got some amazing videos coming up on, especially with how to trade crude oil with two simple moving averages. And then I'm also going to show you a little bit more about Fibonacci 
retracement levels and how to properly put them on your screen. If there's anything else that you want me to create a video for, go down below and drop a comment in the comments section as well. Thanks for watching. Again, you rather under trade, meaning don't over leverage, rather under leverage so you can stay in the game and possibly stack up multiple positions than to over leverage, have to exit the trade or blow your account. And then again, staying in the game is the key to a long and prosperous career in trading. Okay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.